All right, third grade, we were working with our color wheel and our color families. And for class today, you want your paper with the, we'll call them diamonds, um, on it. And we're going to use this to work with our complementary colors. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is trace your hand and you can align your paper any which way you like. Remember when we trace, if we hold the pencil straight up and down, it's going to give us the true shape of our hand. If we put it sideways or tip it like we would if when we're writing, then it tends to either make us have a super skinny or a super thick hand or arm. So once your hand's in place, then we're gonna start to work with our colors. So we were working on identifying color families. We created our color wheel. We identified the top three, which were our red, orange, and yellow as our warm colors, and the bottom three colors in our wheel, which were our green, blue, and purple, as our cool colors. So the first thing you're gonna do is set your cool aside, and we're gonna work with the warm colors to fill in the inside of the hand. We want to create a pattern with it. So if I start with red in here, then maybe I go orange, yellow, red, orange, yellow, red, orange, yellow, continuing all the way through until the hand is done. Okay, so now that I have finished coloring the hand, you can see that I was following the squares as I was going around. When I came to the edges, I stopped, but I can imagine where my orange goes all the way around, and I'm only coloring the parts inside my hand. With that, I'm done with my warm colors. Now I'm gonna work with my cool colors, and I'm going to match them so that I am filling the background with the color complement. So remember when we did our color wheel, we learned that the colors that were directly across from each other on the color wheel were that color complement. So red and green were directly across. So everywhere that my hand is red, I want to fill the outside space with green. So here we've got red, and I'm going to finish this part of the square with green so that I'm still continuing with this square or sometimes because it's on an angle, it looks like a diamond-like pattern. So here my square is red inside my hand and on the outside I'm going to finish that same square with green. The complement to yellow was purple. So I want to continue with that idea so that everywhere that I have yellow, I would finish my square with purple. Now it gets a little bit tricky in here because there's a lot of little spaces. So I wanna make sure that I'm filling them all in with purple, continuing the shape of that square. And then I would want to do the same thing with the orange because the complement to orange is blue, so I would want to fill in and finish my shapes with blue wherever my hand was orange. So this project gives us a little bit of an optical illusion and we create it by working with three sets of color families, warm and cool colors, and then combining them with their color complements. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish mine up so you can see what a finished one looks like, and you can continue or begin working on yours. You can work with crayons, markers, you could work with colored pencils as well. Just make sure you're working with your proper color families. Warm colors on the inside of your hand, cool colors on the outside, matching them to their color complements.
Okay, so here's the finished product. You can see the warm and cool colors lining up in complementary pairs.